What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be seeing how much coin I mined, specifically Bitcoin 2, with my Ace Magic. This is a little mini PC and it's got the Ryzen 7, I think it's an 8745 HS, but it's an 8 core, 16 thread. I moved it in here because it kind of blends in. Look at that, we got a flu miner over there. Uh, but it just blends in underneath the TV and it puts off a little bit of heat over here, over there. We're gonna log into that, see what kind of hash rate we're getting. I'm also curious to see what kind of temperatures we're reading um, and see if we're actually making anything. All right, so checking temperatures, it looks like it's pretty much thermal throttling, uh, sitting at right below 85 degrees Celsius and it's underperforming when I compared uh, my mining hash rate to what I should be getting. Now, is this bad? Well, it's not, it's not good for it. Um, is it gonna burn it out? Probably not. Um, should I do anything about it? Eh, that's, that's a tough one. That's a tough one because being that it's in that little case uh, to increase cooling, I need to give it either some more airflow or potentially repaste it. Um, I don't think thermal paste is gonna make much of a difference because it's just such a small, tiny package. Uh, it looks like it's running 53 watts, which the wall adapter is a 60 watt max wall adapter. So it's pretty much pulling almost all the power it can give. Now, as for the clock speeds, it is, what are we running at? Uh, this, where does it say? We're running at 4.6 gigahertz, 4.4, uh, it's bouncing around. Um, yeah, would some people like letting their, their CPU run this hot? Probably not. Um, being that I don't have much invested into this little guy, I'm gonna let him run. Um, now the hash rate he's getting is right at 4.6 kilohash or 4,669 hashes, roughly, give or take. Um, and what that comes out to in earnings is for the 13th, which was yesterday, um, I have all of my random X Monero that it's mining, auto converting over to the mining Dutch. If you need a guide or a video on how to do that, it will be down below in the description. And um, I have it converting to Bitcoin too. So uh, 24 hours of mining netted me 0 0.068 Bitcoin too, which is estimated uh, worth about seven cents. Now, we, if we compare that to uh, like hashrate.no, what should this be earning? Let's go check it out. All right, guys. So uh, the CPU should be doing about 4.8 kilohash on random X and at 65 watts, um, I'm actually pulling slightly less, or by, I guess by the time it gets to the wall, um, that's where we're at. Uh, it should be producing 15 cents a day uh, in revenue. So we're only getting seven cents, but um, our hash rate is not much lower than this. I'd say we're probably, what, a 10%, 10 to 15% reduction on hash rate. So we're definitely losing some money here. I don't know if we're losing money um, at the mining Dutch level in the uh, lazy mining when it's switching. So I might do a test and switch it over just to straight random X getting paid out in Monero and see if I get, uh, you know, double my revenue. So look out for that video. I'm really curious to see um, how that works out. So anyway, guys, with that being said, thank you for coming out. I really do appreciate it. We're going to be doing some more uh, CPU mining stuff and just more mining stuff in general. As it gets colder, I'm going to be bringing more stuff inside and um, hopefully just heating the entire place. Now, obviously, 60 watts of uh, thermal heat getting put out is basically nothing. Uh, so I'm going to let this bad boy run. Um, as for the temperatures that it's running at, you know what? That old Ryzen just better hang on and we're going to essentially be torture testing her the whole time. So anyways, with that being said, I'm going to jump off here. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you on the flip side. Adios.